He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. We're coming to you live and in color from the Island Princess cruise ship. We are somewhere in the North Atlantic, and I am going to show you today what you can expect from the internet connectivity on this particular cruise ship. Now, what I have is the premium package, which is supposedly the best. If you buy that independently, it's quite expensive uh, for what you get, and we'll take a peek of that in a second. Uh, I have a, a premium package, which includes the tips and all the other stuff, and they throw in the Internet. So at least uh, I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck that I can. So what we're going to do today is actually do a speed test live from this ship, and uh, I will take a peek at that in a second on my laptop with you. Also, I am using the Osmo Pocket 3 camera as an input camera today. First time I'm actually doing that, I'm using it remotely. I have it on a tripod. I have the Creator Kit, and uh, I am on uh, automatic follow right now. So if I move to the left or to the right, uh, this is going to automatically follow me, which is, uh, quite frankly, very nice. So what I'm going to do is actually pick up this camera now, and uh, we're going to take a peek at uh, what this camera actually looks like uh, when I'm using it as a webcam. Now, I was extremely fortunate. Uh, we were upgraded to a, a suite because uh, we had some issues with the other room, uh, which weren't was not our fault, but uh, they upgraded us, and they put us in a suite, probably because that's the only place they had room for us, but uh, I've never been in a suite, and, and wow. So uh, I'm going to tap on this joystick three times, and it's going to flip the camera around, and we'll take a quick quick we'll take a quick peek at uh, what this actually looks like what a suite looks like again it's the first time i've i've had one and uh here we go uh we actually have a, a couch believe it or not and another chair and then uh over there you probably can see uh the ocean now i'm very surprised that uh it's not over driving uh the uh camera here and i actually can see and you can see uh, the blue sea, which is quite nice, and uh, you may be able to see the sky is definitely overblown, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what I am doing right now is, uh, here is the desk that we are on, and uh, there's my laptop and all my other cameras and stuff here that, uh, uh, that I'll be using today. So right now I'm, again, just on the... Uh, uh, the laptop, which is connected wirelessly to the internet here on the ship. So I'm going to uh, put this back down and uh, open up the little tripod here. And there we go. So again, uh, I am uh, still on the uh, web file. I'm also using the external mic, uh, if you can see here, that uh, comes with this creator combo. I'm at 1080p. 30 frames per second, no additional light whatsoever. All right, let's get into the uh, uh, the idea of the day. The idea of the day is let's take a test run to see what our connectivity is, our speed uh, on the internet. So right now I am on speedtest.net, which is uh, universally used to check the speeds of the internet. No big deal there. Uh, right now, the internet connectivity is being provided by SpaceX Starlink, which I believe is Elon Musk's company. So uh, on the ship, they have these giant uh, antennas that will receive the satellite signal, and that is provided from SpaceX Starlink. I have nothing to do with that. That's what the ship offers and provides. And again, I'm on the fastest package, supposedly, that you can get. So let's see what the results are. Right now, uh, we are connected to Atlanta, Georgia. I am somewhere in the North Atlantic. We are headed to, towards New York City. We'll be there sometime uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to hit the Go button, 
and uh, we're going to perform our speed test. So uh, right now it's going to do a quick uh, ping test, and uh, that will pop up in a second. So we're pinging at 424, and now it's going to do the speed test, and we're actually going to see what kind of uh, speed connectivity we're going to get here on this ship. So uh, it's firing away, and uh, it looks like, uh, wow, it's 2.73. That's our download speed, 2.73. And now it's going to test the upload speed of our uh, connectivity here. And uh, we are going to maybe, maybe hit one. No, I don't think so. Ah, point, point 0.82. So our download speed once again is 7, I'm sorry, is 2.73, 2.73 download, and 0.82 upload. In other words, it is pathetic, pathetic. It's not the greatest. However, it's not the end of the world. You've got to understand that there's about 3,000 other people on this ship. We are at sea today. Everybody and their brother, if they're on the cruise, is using the Internet. So consequently, it's substantially reducing your bandwidth and speed and connectivity. So uh, what can you do with a download speed of 2.73 and an upload speed of 0.82? It's not even one. Well, email's no problem. If you're downloading email with your text files, if you're uploading or sending email, you're really not going to have a significant problem. It will work. So again, you can read and write email. You can download a, 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 a document on the email, a spreadsheet, uh, something like that, even a photograph if it's not high def. Once you get involved with a media file, a movie, a video, uh, something that you've shot on your camera and you want to upload to uh, your family, uh, you want to download a movie, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen because there's just not enough bandwidth and speed to allow that to happen, especially with an upload speed of 0.82. So if you think you're going to upload a, uh, a, your podcast or a video that you shot of the family, uh, wherever it is you, you were, and you shot it at 1080p or 4K, uh-uh, it's not going to happen, at least not on the ship. So, uh, Again, a lot of things affect that speed, how many people are on it, where you're located, bada, bada. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you want to upload and download uh, email, no problem. If you want to read the newspaper or read anything like that, no problem. It's when you run into uh, high-quality uh, multimedia files, uh, that's where you're going to get into trouble. Now, let's talk about YouTube. Can I watch a YouTube video? Well, you can but if you think you're going to watch it at 4K, it's not going to happen. Uh, as a matter of fact, 1080p probably won't happen. What will happen is if you're at 1080p, you'll see the video, but it's going to start, it's going to stop, it's going to chug, it's going to rasterize, and it's going to be painful and frustrating. So what I suggest you do if you want to uh, watch a YouTube video is, one, download it before you get on the ship. Download all your movies, your files, anything that you want, download it and have it on a, on a solid state drive. Then you're going to be able to have no problem watching it at 4K, knock yourself out, whatever. If you want to watch a YouTube video, what I suggest is, down, is dropping the speed, the resolution down to its lowest point, which is typically 480. So if you drop it down to 480, uh, you'll have literally no problems. Yeah, it's not going to be high quality. It might be fuzzy and grainy, but you probably will be able to watch the movie without interruption. It will flow, for the most part, continuously. Yeah, it still may drop out. Again, if a lot of people are on it and sucking up that bandwidth, it's just not going to happen. So what I recommend is, Setting that YouTube video for the lowest resolution possible, which is typically 480, I've actually seen 320. Horrible, especially if you blow it up on the laptop. If you're on a phone, yeah, you may get away with it. It may be tolerable. So if it works at 480, go ahead, push it up to 720. If you can get it to 720 and it plays, stop, because it's not going to play at 1080. It's just not going to happen. If you're very, very, very lucky and have a great day and the speed is up, maybe but save yourself the aggravation. Watch it at a lower speed.
So uh, the other thing that you got to understand is this is always changing. The speed is always changing. So right now we're at 2.73 and we're at 0.82 for upload, not even one. So I'm going to run another test, 2.73 and 0.82, and let's see if it's changed. Now, it usually stays within that range. Sometimes it will change, but not significantly. Pretty much what you see is what you're going to get. Any changes are going to be insignificant. So we were at 2.73 uh, for download. Right now we are at... three point one five so you may think wow it's at three point one five but if I test it again it's gonna fluctuate it again the difference between uh, two point eight two and three point one five is not a negligible you won't see or feel the difference nothing and we were at point eight two upload and now we're at a whopping point seven four so that's actually lower than we were uh, the difference being nothing it's still gonna be the same pathetic connection. So uh, you're on the ship to have a good time. Make sure you do that. In the next part of this video, uh, I'm going to show you some interesting uh, ways that people uh, feel that they can circumvent this uh, internet and uh, use another application, another device uh, to bring you connectivity. So uh, uh, we'll take a look at that in, in the uh, next episode. And uh, this is Don Bain, The Gadget Professor. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain, Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.